Hello and welcome to XLOOKUP and Filter Wildcards. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna use wildcards with the XLOOKUP and Filter functions. Let's just get to Excel. Exercise one. All right, let's just start by getting warmed up with XLOOKUP equals XLOOKUP. We wanna go find this item, comma, in here, comma, and then we wanna return this. Close function and enter and everything works great. XY200 is 453, XY200 is 453. So like life is good. But what if we wanna search based on the first two letters only? In other words, what if we wanted to do a partial match? So if we went with X, Y, and enter, we get an error. It sure would be nice if we could use a wild card. And so that's gonna bring us to the next exercise. Exercise two. All right. We're starting with the same formula that we had last time. And so we went with X, Y, enter, and we got an error. Now in Excel, the asterisk is the wildcard character and it stands in to represent any number of characters. So when we type in an asterisk and hit enter, we're still getting an error code. And like, why is that? It's because it's looking for the literal value of X, Y, asterisk, which is not found. So the good news with XLOOKUP is we just need to specify that we wanna enable this wildcard character. And the way that we do that is by going to this match mode argument and selecting two, closing the function and hitting enter. And now it works. And so X, Y, asterisk, is going to return a matching result. And the way XLOOKUP works is it stops at the first match. And that's generally how Excel's lookup functions work. It stops at the first match. So if we had another XY like 300, it's still gonna return just the first match. So depending on what you're working on, this could be perfect. But depending on what you're working on, you may wanna return all of the matching results. So that's when we would shift to the filter function instead of XLOOKUP. Let's go to the next exercise. Exercise three. So as with just about anything in Excel, there are several different ways to accomplish this. But basically we wanna return all the matching rows for XY, so we'd wanna return these rows. So in this case, we're gonna use filter. Now, although the filter function doesn't support wildcards directly like XLOOKUP did, we can use some helper functions. So the first argument is the range that has the values we wanna return and then a comma and then the include. So in this first case, we're gonna use the left function. So we're gonna say, if the left of this two characters, so if the left two characters equal whatever's in here, then we wanna return it. Close function and enter. And now we got it. So this matches X, Y when it is the left two characters. And if we wanted to look for the right most characters, we could use the right function. And this basically is a partial match that looks at the first characters. But if we don't know where exactly our match is gonna be found, we can use the search function instead. Equals filter. Once again, we wanna return the results from this range, comma. And now we basically wanna say, not is error search, and we wanna find this text, comma, within here. Close the search function, close is error, close not, close filter and enter. And now we've got it. And the advantage of this approach is that it doesn't matter where within that text string X, Y is found, it's gonna find the match. So I hope these exercises help you use wildcards with XLOOKUP and filter. Thanks so much for joining me, have a great day. Hey Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 